Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. North Topeka Arts and Entertainment District continues to heat up summer with its summer concert series. Stacy Don Ogle with Noto and Lonnie Walker Jr. with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas are here to talk about the partnership they have that makes this possible. Welcome to both of you. Thank Thanks. you for having us. So let's go back in time, Stacy, yeah. and the beginnings of the Noto summer concert series. How did all of this start? Well, you know, we really wanted to be able to bring um, some new diverse, culturally um, different music to Topeka. And so when we were talking about how to do that, we decided that the summer concert series would be a great way for us to meet those goals. And so we have really tried to diversify the lineup of musicians that we've had throughout the summer. So uh, this year we started off with Maria the Mexican. We had Hector Anchando come in and perform. Um, this last uh, concert, we had Carswell and Hope, which was an Irish rock band. Mm -hmm. So now this month, we've got Project 11, which is a jazz band. So we really um, just love to be able to bring something new to Topeka community and give them something that they haven't been exposed to before. And so that was kind of the goal with the summer concert series. And we do have some video from Carswell and Hope when they were there. But first is a picture of one of the opening acts. And this has been another approach that you've had with the summer concert series is that there are young performers who are opening all of these summer concert series. Why is that something that's been so important to you? Absolutely. Well, so we wanted to be able to give kids and our youth musicians an experience that they haven't had before. And so we have opened up the opportunity for us to bring in a youth musician as an opener before the headliner goes on. So they get a chance to be on stage, practice their stage performance, see what it's like to go through the whole sound check, the backstage experience, see what a professional musician has to go to as well, and overall just have that whole experience as a concert. So we love that. We've seen some wonderful musicians. Oh, people in. have been blown away is what they I was been. hearing when I was out there with Carswell and Hope. The people are saying, you should have heard the lady who opened. It was amazing. Lonnie, so Stacy comes to you with this wild idea and says, we'd love to do this, but we need somebody to support it. Absolutely. So does Blue Cross Blue Shield say, uh, hang on, come back, dot, dot the I's, cross the T's. Why did you jump in? No, great question, Melissa. For us at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas, we are committed to advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion we understand the importance of ensuring that people from all backgrounds are seen, heard, and valued. And as a result, we are being intentional about supporting organizations and events that reflect the rich diversity of the communities that we serve. What have you, has been your reaction as you've gone and you've seen the crowds that have been out there enjoying these various acts that have come through? No, it's just been amazing. The response, you know, we know that here in the Topeka community, we are a diverse community. And so to intentionally have these types of acts come out and see our community support that just shows where we're going as a community. I like to, Stacey, we were kind of laughing earlier when SJ and JQ were here that this is part of the how everybody works together. You yes. know, you're doing this on the third Thursday, not on first Friday, not not during live at lunch, not during right. whatever other things that might be going on, or even if it is, you have such a, a focus and an intentional way that you're scheduling these. It just really is very symbiotic with everything else that's going on. Well, so we also work with all of the other event venues in the city, and many of us will share our calendar, share our upcoming goals. So we don't want to compete with the other locations in the city, and we bring to the table different types of music and different experiences than TPAC or the Jayhawk Theater would do. So yeah, it's important for us to all communicate together. We want to rise the city up as a whole, right. not individually. So yeah. How fun has it been to be able to bring the, these new types of music? I love it. And um, I'm selfishly, I would say my favorite part is working with the youth musicians. Um, I love to see these kiddos get a chance to shine. Um, and it's been great also to see our community come out and embrace the different kinds of music that we're we're providing to them. So and Lonnie, to see families sit out and enjoy an evening in the park, what's that like for you? Absolutely. Like I said, it's it's nice just to see the Topeka community come out and support different acts like this. We're not made up of just one type of person. And so to invite other people to see uh, acts that reflect their community, but then also share that experience with others who might not be a part of that community is a big deal for our, for our city. Well, we have a couple months left in the Noto Summer Concert Series because it is still summer. Yeah. So the next event that is coming up is August 18th. Project 11 is the main act that you'll find. And again, this all takes place in Red Butt Park and the best is that it's free, free right. admission. Yeah. That is what we like to hear. So the families can bring the lawn chairs, sit in Red Bud Park on North Kansas Avenue and enjoy. Stacy, Lonnie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. And thank you for being with us today for Eye on Northeast Kansas. Stay tuned for Eye Crime, and we'll see you right back here in a half hour for Live at Five.
Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW.